Hello, uh, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is a prophecy uh, for uh, Sandra. And uh, you've got a last name that looks like Machizadek, Machizadek, uh, the famous person who met Abraham. Um, I haven't written your uh, last name on the prophecy so people won't know uh who you are and i've probably mispronounced it uh, but um it's interesting going through life with a last name like that um i um i've reached a stage where i'm really achieving a lot today um i um i got uh, some proofreading done about a manuscript like a manuscript back that's been with a proofreader that was previously with an editor and uh, so I've got that uh, manuscript back um, I got uh, to do a blueprint uh, a destiny blueprint which is a longer more detailed uh, prophecy uh, for another person, and uh, I've got uh, this request of yours. And then I've got uh, 12 five-minute uh, videos. The typing has been typed up, so I'm busy. And uh, what's this got to do with you? I, I sense that uh, you are entering a stage uh, with the Lord where the Lord is going to allow you uh, to uh, become busy. Um, uh, there's nothing uh, there's few things more satisfying than being busy uh, for the Lord. Uh, I sense that uh, the Lord is going to lead you into uh, doing things uh, for him. One thing uh, that I can see uh, that the Lord uh, is going to lead you into I'm just taking some medication. One thing that I can see the Lord leading you into which will uh, be beneficial uh, to other people is um, I can see you learning uh, to do prophetic evangelism. I've got a book called Prophetic Evangelism uh, Made Simple. Um, and its uh, subtitle is Prophetic uh, Seed Sowing. And uh, you're a person with a lot of love and you've got a heart uh, for evangelism. You've got a heart to see people saved. And uh, I sense that uh, the Holy Spirit uh, would uh, really uh, use you uh, really well prophetically uh doing prophetic evangelism um so you can uh purchase my book uh prophetic evangelism made simple it's 99 cents so it's pretty cheap and um you can read from that and get encouraged uh to uh, embark on that at the end of uh the book uh there's a prayer for you to receive the gift of prophecy and uh there's an exercise where you can uh, do your first prophecy since uh, you received the gift and uh, you can do your first prophecy by doing a prophecy over my life um, and it's an exercise in the book and I'll show you how to do that. I can see you uh, developing that gift and it becoming like a favorite sport of yours. Uh, prophetic evangelism is like a sport to me. It's something that I never know uh, when it's going to happen. Uh, but as I 
go out in the public, the Holy Spirit highlights people and gives me a message for people, and I go up and uh, deliver the message. I've got an introduction when someone's speaking to someone else and uh, I'm uh, going to disturb them. I walk up to them and I say, excuse me, and they look at me and I say, I, I've got a gift. I have a gift, and from time to time that gift allows me to get a message for a person. Today I've got a message for you, and they look at me and I launch into a prophetic word uh, for the person because they're expecting a message. And uh, when I say it like that, uh, the person assumes that a clairvoyant or a psychic has walked up to them. They're very open. If I went up and shared with them saying, I've got a word for the Lord from the Lord for you, uh, that shut me down uh, many times. Um, so it really works well. So that's something I can see you doing. Um, there may be nerves uh, hearing that, uh, but I want to tell you as a person with an evangelistic heart, it's a really easy way of evangelizing people. And uh, I, um, I don't lead many people that I do prophetic evangelism to Christ. Um, I just plant seeds. I just allow that encounter with Jesus to minister to them. I can see you uh, being used also. Uh, I can see you being used to teach. Um, I can see uh, I, I can see a teaching anointing. I just pray that the anointing to teach over my life, may start to flow down onto you, Sandra, that uh, that uh, you start to get messages uh, to share on Facebook uh, that uh, will uh, touch people's lives and uh, bless people. I pray for longer messages, more detailed messages, and I pray that uh, you can find a good picture to support your message. Um, I pray uh, especially for like a, a Facebook anointing, something that will start to touch and minister to your Facebook friends. In Jesus' name I ask, amen. So I see uh, you growing in a teacher's anointing. I can see you eventually uh, doing uh, YouTube videos and you may be shy about that too um, and uh, that may uh, take another person to prophesy to confirm that to you uh, before you'll step out and do that but I see you definitely growing in a teaching anointing um, perhaps uh, your church will even invite you uh, to speak uh, and preach uh, one time I um I uh, I know that uh, the anointing to teach definitely grows uh, the more that uh, you do it, the more that uh, you uh, get experience in it, uh, the anointing grows and gets uh, more powerful and uh, more effective. And... Uh, so I can see you growing in that. I can see you. Uh, I can see you writing a number of books. Um, I, I sense that. Uh, I sort of get a spiritual sense that you have two to three uh, books uh, in your spirit that uh, you've got in your heart that you may write two to three books uh, in the future. But I think. Um, that two to three books is just your way of saying you're open to writing. I, I think uh, once you get the two to three books uh, completed, that there'll be many more books uh, coming forth. Uh, you simply need to read books on how to write a book. Um, I've got uh, four books on how to write Christian nonfiction, and uh, I just released... Uh, one called 71 Powerful Habits that I've learned writing nonfiction or something like that. Um, 
And uh, if you look up 71 Powerful Habits and Matthew Robert Payne on Amazon, you'll come across it. Uh, it's an extensive 200-page book about writing. Um, so I can see you being a teacher. I can see you also uh, being used to encourage people and uh, uh, you've got this uh, natural ability uh, to encourage people. You're just uh, a beautiful person who just <clears throat> naturally goes from person to person and encourages them and builds people up. And uh, uh, if you're anything like me, you're, you're not aware that you're doing it. Um, we had uh, uh, a, a list of uh, 20 spiritual gifts on a on a brochure that were given, and uh, 100 people in our church were all given this brochure, and we were told to study the list. And then... Uh, we were told to go up to three people and ask them what they think our spiritual gifts are. And um, we, we, uh, we, uh, um, uh, no, we, we were told to go up to 10 people each uh, and see what our spiritual gifts are. And the people writing down the gifts were, to write down three spiritual gifts that they can see in us. And um, prophecy came up number one for me uh, because people knew uh, that I prophesied. So nine out of ten people uh, did prophecy, but that's because they knew that I, I did prophecy. But eight out of ten came up with the gift of encouragement that, uh, I was an encourager and that was so encouraging to me because I didn't know that and uh, people could see people could see that I'm just a born encourager and um, so you are too and uh, the Holy Spirit has told me that uh, you're an encourager and that's what's so good about the gift of prophetic evangelism uh, because uh, when you prophetically uh, encourage people, you're just encouraging them. You're just uh, bringing a blessing. You're bringing a message from Jesus, which is encouraging to people. Uh, that's why you'll like uh, to experience prophetic evangelism. So I pray that this has uh, been helpful. Um, I'll... Um, I'll include my Facebook uh, profile address in the email. And if uh, you want to write to me, if you want a friend request me and write to me and even discuss this prophecy in any way, uh, it, I won't uh, charge you money. And um, you may have questions about writing or something like that. Uh, please feel free to get in touch with me. God bless.